Yeah! Yeah! What's going on, everybody? Yes, it's gonna be a fun time. Um, uh, I am a man who does not drink beer. Every once in a while, I'll go someplace and some guy will tell me that that's a bad thing. Some dude will be like, oh, dude, you don't want a beer? You don't want a beer, bro? What, do you want to blow a guy? <laughs> sure, man, is that the only other option at this bar? Those are the two choices we have. This is a weird place that I walked into. I don't know why, as a straight man, I'm not allowed to get a daiquiri. I do not understand at all. They're so good, they got strawberry and pineapple in them, but never, even if I'm on a date with a girl, if I'm sitting there with a girl and she's like, I think I'm gonna get a daiquiri. If I was like, God, that sounds delicious. Maybe I'll have one of those. Like, what are you, a loser? You can't get a daiquiri. You have to get something a man would drink, like sand or oil or some other shit like that. <laughs> so stupid being a straight man. Another dumb thing is I'm not allowed to walk up to a straight man I don't know and compliment what he's wearing. I'm just not allowed to do that. If I see a guy in the street I don't know, I'm not allowed to walk up to him and go, dude, that shirt, you are killing it right now, man. <laughs> I should be able to do that. We need more compliments. If I see a sad guy at the bar, you know what I mean? I just walk up to him like, man, look, I know you hit on that girl. She didn't want to go home with you. But that hat, you are killing it right now. <laughs> my, uh, my ex-girlfriend was really jealous. And uh, if anybody in here is dating a jealous person, I hope you get out of that before they kill you. <laughs> she was so jealous. I never knew when something was going to go wrong. We'd be walking through the mall. Everything's fine. And then she'd be like, hey, Nathan, what do you think of that girl's hair? And because I was asked a question, I would turn and look at this girl's hair. I'd be like, oh yeah, that girl's hair? Yeah, I like that girl's hair. I might not have said it in that high of a pitch, but still. <laughs> but then she would just freak out. She would just lose her jealous mind. She'd be like, oh my God, you like that girl's hair? You actually like that? What do you want me to have that girl's hair? I don't know, does that girl's hair come with more self-confidence? <laughs> Because if it does, go get it right now. How could you get mad at me for looking at a girl you asked me to look at, you know? That's just the thing jealous women are allowed to do, just ask you these questions you're not supposed to have real answers to. Like, do you think my friends are hot? I don't see your friends. They're invisible to me. You're the only woman alive, tree of life. I honestly never understand how women get upset when men look at other women. I'll never get it. It's very hard for us not to look at other women. You know why? Because it's hard for women not to look at other women. You guys can't even not do it, man. Straight women look at women all the time. Just see a woman on the street and be like, man, that woman is drop dead gorgeous. If you're seeing women out there that shock you, what the fuck do you think it's doing to us, man? <laughs> she actually said to me once that she hoped I never thought about having sex with other women. She was like, I hope you don't think about it. I'm like, well, I I'm not a wizard. I can't control all the thoughts that go through here. If I could shut it off, I would. I don't want this curse all the time. You know when you see a man walking down the street sometimes, you might be like, oh, that guy looks calm. He's not. In his head, there's a war going on all day. Just like, I gotta get to work. Look at those tits. Gotta get to work. I like to fuck her all day, every day. If, if I could shut that off, I would. It happens at strange times, man. I've gotten on a bus, and a hot mom will get on holding her baby. <laughs> holding her baby. And there's a part of my mind that's like, man, that's beautiful. There's another part of my mind that's like, yo, drop that baby. <laughs> Pick up a dick. <laughs> and that's not the thought I want to have, you know? I think my, I think my ex-girlfriend was really jealous because she used to compare herself to every single woman on the planet. She'd even get those lists, the world's sexiest women list, and go through that whole thing. I'm like, look at that woman's legs. They're all long and tall. Look at my legs. I've got these short little stubby troll legs. I don't even have knees. How does my leg even bend? I used to have to tell her, I'm like, these lists are bullshit. They did not search the world, it's just celebrities. They always try to tell us that the world's sexiest people are celebrities, always. World's sexiest woman, it's gotta be like Rihanna, right? Same as world's sexiest man. They're always like, it's this guy in this movie, or it's George Clooney. 
He's the world's sexiest man the last 85 years running. <laughs> Even when he's dead, we're gonna dig him up and be like, here he is, the world's sexiest bones. We, we don't know who the world's sexiest people are. The world's sexiest man, who knows? It could be some guy in Italy who always has a cigarette in his mouth. He's just bronzed from the sun, has a dress shirt done up with only one button and he fixes old boats. That's the world's sexiest man right there. So, and he could just take a tomato out of the ground and know how long it's been there, you know? Just pick it up and be like, oh, March. That's the world's sexiest man. But because he's not in a movie, you will never hear about him. She's asked me before, she actually asked me if these lists were right. She was like, do you really think this woman is number eight? Do you think this woman is number four? We don't care. Men don't pick up this list and call our friends like, yo, dude, did you get the list? <laughs> yeah, I did, man. I got a real problem with number seven. <laughs> well, bring it to the clubhouse and we'll talk it out. <laughs> don't care. You ask a regular man who he thinks the world's sexiest woman is. Just go up to some guy. Like, who do you think it is, man? You think it's, I don't know, this celebrity or this celebrity? He'll be like, duh, those two are pretty cool, okay? But let me tell you this. I was just at a restaurant. My waitress was hot as hell, okay? <laughs> Tits everywhere, ass all over the place. The world's sexiest woman to a man is the last hot woman he saw. <laughs> it's how it breaks down, just like, yo, there's the world's sexiest woman. Wait a minute, there's another one. That one's garbage now. Look at this over here. <laughs> That's why I don't think they put that list out for men. I think they put that list out for women. So you guys look at it, hate yourselves, try to change everything about who you are. We're only shown one type of woman on a magazine cover. It's usually a scary, small woman with just like ribs all over the place. You can see her teeth through her face. <laughs> I don't know who wants this. I've never been at a bar with a friend of mine and have him go, yo, dude, see that zombie looking chick over there in the corner? <laughs> yeah, man, the girl that looks sad and tired and hungry. <laughs> God, I would love to just grab her collarbone and ride her into the night. <laughs> Eat something for God's sake. I've only met one man who wants that, one. One dude, he was like, yo man, I only want to sleep with girls that are 98 pounds. 98 pounds, this criminal <laughs> said 98 pounds. That's me when I was 10. You want to sleep with me when I was 10? Like, yo man, your mom's got a pretty hot picture of a girl on her mantle. Who's that? That is me in grade eight, bro. <laughs> My name's Nathan McIntosh, guys. Thank you very much. Have a good night.